Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a reading about Jennifer Aniston. This reading was by request, one of my viewers. And I know that right now Jennifer Aniston is not dating anyone. She almost dated David Schwimmer in 2021. So I was going to take a look to see if there's any potential between those two. I also know that she came out publicly about her inability to have children and I really felt for her because obviously she wanted kids and she she tried you know she did try um, IVF and all that stuff according to what I briefly read so I want to ask point blank I'm gonna ask a few questions about her I'm gonna ask how is she feeling about children what will she do when it comes to children will she adopt uh, what are what are her plans there how does she feel these days about her state of um, childlessness and I'm gonna ask point blank if she and David Schwimmer are going to be a thing, if they're going to date, because they had a couple of close calls. I know they dated in 2003, and then um, they dated again in 2021, or they almost dated in 2021. So I wanted to see if there's anything potentially going to happen between those two in the future. And then I'm going to ask just do a quick little reading about her love life to come. What's coming into her love life in the future? Or just what's next for, for just what's next for her in life? You know, what's coming her way? and what's going to come her way in the future. If you'd like to see the card selection process for this reading, please no note that I moved that section of the reading to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, let's begin. Is she going to have or adopt any children in the future? Is Jennifer Aniston going to get any children in the future? We have autumnal equinox. Prepare for change. So she is going to change something about her situation. She does have some long-term plans to... Oh, and non-human to get a dog I think probably she just she she's into her pets if she doesn't have pets already I'd surprise I'd be surprised if she doesn't but she's gonna be getting she has plans to get a pet in the future that's kind of how she's thinking about children okay next we're getting the wheel of fortune and um, we see here beyond your control challenges right so because of feeling like you know what it, she tried it was the luck of the draw and just where the dice ended for her is she just wasn't meant to have kids. That's kind of how she's going to view it. But in light of this outcome, she's going to get to the point. Time's going to pass, right? It's the Wheel of Fortune, the chronometer. And she's going to get to the point where she considers an immigrant. She considers e adopting someone foreign. Definitely. I definitely see that she will or may adopt a baby from a foreign country. Yes, or a child from a foreign country. It, it's coming up, and so I will have, have to say that. Okay, next we're seeing, oh, sorry, the world. I'm going with these, even though they are reversed. Because they're stated, I'm going with it. So we have Saturnian energy here. Oh, and we're seeing, this is Jupiter, so for sure, she's going to adopt a child. I do see that uh, Jennifer Aniston is going to adopt a child from a foreign country. I don't know, I'm getting, like, vibes of, like, Russia, uh, not Russia, but, like, Ukraine. Like, Ukraine or Kenya. Even Samoan, maybe? Something like that? Yeah, so I feel like she's going to uh, adopt some child in the future. Okay, next we're seeing the world. Seeking closure, delays, lack of completion, stagnation, disappointment, taking shortcuts. Mm. There's going to be delays in her getting the child, okay? It's not going to go smoothly, the adoption process, for some reason. I don't know. It might have something to do with her age. It says here senior, maybe because she's a little bit older, so they're going to... I don't know why they would have a problem with that. I know that older people, like grand, uh, people who are old enough to be grandparents, adopt kids all the time. But there's, uh, anyways, we're going to be seeing some sort of delay or lack of completion. So she's going to try, but I feel like it's going to be, it's going to either take a very long time, and so she will not get the child until she's a senior, like in her 60s, okay? She, I think that's what's going to happen. She will probably adopt the child when she is older, in her 60s. And if she is in her 60s, I feel like, it's possible that because of her age, it's going to cause her to not complete the adoption process because she'll be getting older and need to just kind of care for herself. And she's in those years where she needs to maybe start calming down. I don't know. For me, personally, the way I view uh, those older years, the twilight years, is that's the time for you to seize life. That's the time for you to really say, okay, I'm going to lay claim on life. You have to go out of your way. And one of the ways to do that is to adopt a child and raise a child, I would think. Um, and that keeps you going. That keeps your ticker going, you know? Um, it's when you do less that your body starts to shut down and you start to age and start to, you know, it, you know, death becomes closer, faster, more rapid. Why? Why? So it's best to, you know, like that poem, as a poem I read once, said, 
Rage Against the Darkening of the Light. Yeah, I believe that was by um, Thomas Dillon. Thomas Dillon. Anyway, so that's what I'm seeing is that, yeah, she will. She's likely to try and she might not successfully complete the adoption process or she will com successfully complete it when and get a child, but it won't be until she's in her 60s, okay? That's what I'm predicting here. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next question for Jennifer Aniston. Be right back. Okay, so the next question we're going to be answering is, is there going to be a future romantic relationship between David Schwimmer and Jennifer Aniston? Are Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer going to date each other romantically in the future? Let's get into it. So we have Harmonious. Looks like they get along really well together, at least. That's some of, there's some of that going on in the future. The, there's a harmoniousness coming up, but perhaps Spirit is just trying to acknowledge that it, so that we know that it knows what we're talking about. We'll see. The King of Coins. Okay. Okay, so it looks like he's a very reliable person. I feel that it sounds like a yes, honestly. It sounds like um, he's tried to. He's going to try to be stable financially. He's going to work on himself. He's going to become very financially successful. And he's a stable type. He's not the playboy who's going to want to jump around. He's going to want a relationship. Um, I'm getting moment. Think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. So there's going to be a moment where they connect. There's going to be a moment in the future when they come into contact and connect. And there's going to be so much harmony in that moment that he's going to feel like, you know what? I'm going to remember this about you. I'm going to remember this about you, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I see someone taking off in a chariot. They're going to, you know, they leave, they've left. But what this is telling me is that there will be a meeting, a rendezvous. They will meet. They'll have a moment together. And, uh, you know, he's going to feel like it, it was very harmonious between the two of them. He's going to feel that. Um, like man that's a great connection he's gonna feel that uh, like that's some of the best connection I've had in my life really so let's move on to the next panel and see what we're gonna we're finding we're seeing a star the star represents a wish or the you know the highest aspirations in a situation hope healing we have the seven of cups clarity of thought and so this is where it's gonna go from a wishy-washy thing to something more solid that's what the seven of cups uh, reversed um, implies and we have now recognition the universe will help you recognize signs and miracles so and we see the star so what this is telling me is that you know they're both going to see in each other in the future wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute he's a good thing she's a good thing she's a good thing for me he's a good thing for me i like him he's good this is he's a quality potential okay and gone from potential which is seven of cups right so potential is when we have seven cups in front of us and we're trying to figure out which one we're going to choose mm, i don't know this one and it's reversed and this is when things become clear we now we have clarity or well, we've chosen we've made our choice i feel like they're going to it says you're decisive they're going to make a decision some one of them is going to uh let me see who is it going to be this is venus Ooh, and we're also seeing scorpio here so i get the feeling that she's going to be the one who realizes oh my gosh he's quality david schwimmer is quality the quality candidate as a mate or a partner for me or a romantic relationship and then i see someone here hitting the ball out the park i mean come on okay so i get the feeling that they're go you know here's a wish coming true and seeing this is the i'm i'm recognizing you i'm recognizing you as a good one look the spotlight's on you and you look so good I feel like she's gonna see, think of David Schwimmer and think and see him somewhere after they've had that moment in you know and then they'll they'll have the rendezvous and then she'll see him again and go mm, he is looking so good he is looking so good okay the light will shine you she realize all of a sudden he's actually a good choice for me so I see someone hitting the ball out the park we have strength invisible force okay wow so we have Leo and the Sun. But I get the feeling that one of them is going to hit it, the ball out of the park with the other one. Okay, I, I'm getting that is Jennifer Aniston. Okay, she's going to show him herself and be like, you know what? I've got you. Okay, I've got you. So I feel like they're going to make contact. You know, they're hitting the ball out of the, the park. It, you know, implies contact. They're going to come to tango with each other and connect. They're going to interact. And they're going to do this connection is going to go so well. It's going to be like perfect okay they're gonna they're gonna come back together they're gonna try this thing again they're gonna find out that they really recognize each other as the one the one and the other one's gonna be like i admire it's time to think about it and everything you appreciate it's time to think about everything you appreciate in your partner you know i feel like this is going to be um david david here going you're so beautiful <laughs> you're like everything look the word everything you're everything 
you're the full package you're the package deal and she's gonna be like dude you're the one you know she's gonna like the way his brain works too she's gonna like the way his brain works so the first house represents your personal belongings your personal life your possessions how you look your persona how you present you know you the number one the thing that people see first right the thing that people that meets the eye first okay that's very interesting card to come up there uh, dice energies there we have the king of cups emotional mastery what wow i think guys because this is about possessions i think she's gonna own him mm -hmm. i don't mean like slavery i don't mean like buying a person okay i'm talking about she's gonna come into possession of him yeah because number one like i said the first house represents your personal life your possessions right he's gonna become a part of her personal life he's gonna become yeah definitely he's gonna become l like a fixture in her world like they're gonna date absolutely they're gonna come back to dating and he, she's gonna have him around a lot it says here study let love show you how to learn from each other and it's going to be a very mature relationship very mature they've grown they've been through relationships they've learned they, they've seen each other from afar they've danced back and forth they've had moments they've touched they've come apart they've seen each other they've they've had a lot of contact they've worked together on that show come on uh friends so i feel like they're going to come back into being with each other and they're gonna have a very mature relationship. It's gonna be very handled when emotionally. It's gonna be a very mature relationship. It's gonna be handled very well by both David and Jennifer, and they are going to just observe each other and study from and, and learn from each other. They're gonna study from each other and learn about each other from each other. Okay. Um, I don't necessarily. I think possibly marriage. Possibly it's a possibility. But I don't see it strongly featured. I just see that they will come back together and they will have a romantic relationship. They will come back. Definitely, this is a relationship right here. This is a full on, this is Major Arcana. So one of your soulmates or one of your uh, twin flames or whatever. It's more a soulmate because I see they're both in white. So this is a mach and also emotional mat uh, maturity, which is more of a soulmate kind of relationship where it's two mature individuals coming together that are meant, that have worked their journey and they're now ready for each other. They meet at that moment where they're they're grown and they can handle each other very well with finesse and they're both they bring um, mature adult energies to their relationship so they can support each other and support themselves together or apart it's just amazing it's amazing it's going to be a great connection between the two of them um and i see that coming for them yes they will definitely come back together again in the future let me get uh, let me pull a timing on it real quick a timing card take a spirit when will jennifer aniston and and david schumer come back in into a romantic relationship again a romantic relationship with each other again I'm, I'm feeling these two so we get a range this is not a precise thing so we just it's just going to give us a ballpark figure okay in the spring okay spring of some year i'm not sure if it's next year but in the spring okay that's giving us a clue and that makes sense right things will be romantic the flowers will be blooming the perfect season for love and romance and this month what okay i don't see signs of hiding their relationship here but the cards seem to be implying that soon they will be connecting like we just saw soon they'll be connecting like this you know and i'm seeing with study maybe they'll, they'll do work with each other maybe they'll do a role where they're both in the same movie so they'll study together and study their lines together that's another thing that just popped up for me so i think what's going to happen here's what i'm thinking that there's a project they're working on together and very soon they're going to become in contact again and perhaps they're going to be in a similar movie or something they're going to be in the same movie and they're going to be studying their parts around each other they're going to be learning from each other and she's going to get a lot of him in her life soon she's going to be doing something with david schwimmer soon and i think it has to do like i said with studying for a role you know studying the lines memorizing lines studying lines together they'll do some of that together with each other and with the yeah that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking now okay uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pull some cards and see what is coming next in her life in the future what's coming next into her life in general just a general reading uh, i'll be right back thank you and we're back let's go ahead and take a look at what's coming into jennifer aniston's life next it's just a general reading see what's coming up for her right the card came out this way so we're seeing seeking closure delays lack of completion stagnation disappointment taking shortcuts so something will not complete okay for her i'm not sure what, oh right okay we're seeing dollar here okay um we're seeing saturnian energies 
Right. So, the, yeah, there's going to be some kind of slowdown when it comes to uh, how much money she's making. Yeah, she's going to, you know, it's good, how much money she makes is going to stagnate. So I wouldn't say that she's going to continue making more and more and more and more money. I think the amount of money she makes is going to stagnate or perhaps she won't get as many jobs as she used to. Or I just feel like financially speaking, she's uh, maybe going to be looking to get more money but can't get more right now. I know she's incredibly rich. I'm sure she's a very wealthy woman. She did the Friends, uh, fr uh, Friends show for multiple seasons, for goodness sake. So I'm not implying that she's broke. I'm just saying that I feel that her money situation is going to go into like a bit of a flat line. Okay, I don't think she's going to be making like as much money as she would like to be making. Okay, I will put it that way because I think she's still getting royalties and things. So I think that she's not going to be making as much as she would like to make. Because it says here, disappointment. Okay, but she's going to seek closure of it. She's going to accept it. She's going to accept it. She's going to work her way through some of these energies. You know, the world cards, major arcana. So this implies a um, either a major life event or factors that have a major effect on our lives, like maybe moving us from one phase into the next phase of our lives. Right, maybe leaving, um, maybe leaving childhood behind and becoming an adult, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm seeing that she will have to come to terms with it, and she will seek closure and accept it. She will accept it. Okay, we're seeing the Queen of Coins almost as if to in contradict that energy is that she. I see wealth here. The Queen of Coins is an opulent, luxurious, a practical, uh, caretaking figure. Okay, let's go ahead and we're we'll getting the Queen of Wands. We're seeing stylish trendsetter. Ooh. She's going to be focusing on her charm, okay? She's going to be focusing on her beauty. That's what I see coming up for Jennifer Aniston, okay? She is a beautiful woman. I see her glowing. She's going to be maintaining her youth. She's going to be infusing herself with passion and vitality. She's going to remain very strong. She's going to remain very sexy. She's going to remain very outgoing, and she's not going to stop. She's not going to roll over and go hide somewhere. She's going to keep her beauty up and keep up uh, her looks as well she's gonna be very stylish she's gonna spend money on that and she's gonna come across like sh she made it you know what i'm saying she's a very wealthy woman and she's gonna look the part and it's going and she's gonna use it to preserve her youth her usefulness she's doing something to preserve her beauty i see these um is it petals yeah she's using some sort of natural uh petal based or leaf based um beauty regimen something to do with her skin for sure, to maintain her beauty. That's what's coming up for her. She's going to look very good for a very long time, okay? We got the Two of Wands. Lacking strategy. We got Sagittarius in Aries. Mm. So I feel like she's going to have all this energy, but she's not going to know where to go with it, okay? And, and let me explain. She's going to be, like, not sure which direction to go, okay? So, for instance, for her, she, she's going to reach a certain point in her life where it's not going to be like, hmm, let me come up with a strategy of what next role I'm going to do or what move I'm going to make next. At this point, it's almost like she's, like, done it all, and she's just going to be focused on when it's time to make those kinds of decisions, she'll just roll the dice and be like, okay, fates, universe, what do you think I should do? And whatever the dice say, that's what she's going to do. I wouldn't say that she feels personally, like, passionate or personally, like, knows very boldly and strongly what direction she wants to take her life. I feel like she kind of is going to leave it, leaving it up to fate. She's going to leave it up to fate when it comes to, like, planning, making decisions, things like that. She's going to be more like, la-di-da, here, roll the dice. What did I say? Okay, I'll do that. She's not going to feel, and this would imply for me, a lack of motivation too. She's not going to be as motivated to push and keep trying to do more and do more projects. And she's not going to be as inclined. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for her because she's going to be very popular. I see that here. The Queen of Wands is a very popular card. She's going to have opportunities, but she's gonna, just going to roll the dice. She's not going to make super strategic relig uh, uh, decisions on what she does next. Okay, in and then we're getting the Eight of Coins, which is the card of dedication. Dedicated, like, craftsmanship. Dedicated to the craft, you see? Detailed. I feel like when it comes to her work, she's not going to feel happy when it comes to her work. And I think that's some of that ennui and that apathy we were seeing in the Two of Wands reversed where she's like, eh, I don't really care which way it goes. When really, I think Spirit is advising that she come up with some kind of strategy because her career isn't over yet. It's not. But I get the feeling that she's been feeling a little dissuaded and kind of like, womp womp downtrodden about the kind of work she's been getting you know the kind of work she's been that has been coming her way she's not pleased with it she's not excited by it she finds it boring she thinks it sucks um and that's why she's like whenever the roles come up or whatever anything comes up she just tosses the dice because she's like they're all the same 
whatever, I don't care anymore. So I get the feeling that she is going to encounter s some feelings of um, uh, dissatisfaction, yeah, when it comes to her career. She's not going to feel as excited about that. So sorry to see that. Let me pull some helpful cards to, in, you know, just in case she watches this reading, uh, to see what can help her situation. Any words of advice from Spirit? Be right back. So the first card we are getting, you have a lot to learn. Get back to studying. Mm. So with the books there, you know, I'm seeing school is implied. Um, I saw that she was seeing some stagnation with her money situation or whatever. I feel like uh, Spirit is advising Jennifer to do some research about like investing or perhaps even going back to school or taking some kind of course or a course of study that will explain to her more about her financial situation. So she can just, you know, you know, this is a time of her life to exercise her brain and become more strategic, not become less strategic, I would say. Um, so it feels like Spirit is saying that the, the, the situation with the money, feeling like it's been kind of flatlining, is just about she needs to learn more because uh, apparently there's some pieces of knowledge that she needs that will get her income back to going up, 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 like it used to, if that's what she wants. Okay, I mean, she doesn't always, life doesn't always have to be about getting more and more and more money. If you have plenty, that's enough. But at the same time, I feel like this is what Spirit is telling her is, hey, go back to school. Maybe maybe not even learn about money, but just learn about new things in general. Just different things. Just learn other topics of interest would be good for her right now. Next, we're seeing keep working on yourself. If you're not okay on the inside, the out, the on the inside, the outside won't matter. You're responsible for your own happiness. Yes. And I get the feeling with the Queen of Wands popping up, she already knows this, okay? The Queen of Wands is a very assertive figure. She takes charge, okay? In fact, she 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 rallies herself up. She's her own cheerleader. And she tries to rally others up, though she loses patience with sulkers. She doesn't do well with people who sulk. Uh, after a while, she'll get that gets old and she'll move on. She doesn't, you know, hang out with people who are just perpetually down. She wants to, people who, when you, she tries to rally them up and get them going, that they respond. And so... So I get the feeling that Spirit is saying, hey, this is, is giving her a head nod. Continue what you're doing, okay? Continue what you're doing. Um, taking care of yourself, of yourself from the inside, right? Which is with the leaves and the herbs. But also specifically, you know, she cares a lot about her looks, which is great. But maybe Spirit is urging her here to do some internal work as well. As far as like spiritually, emotionally, you know, do some like psychological, just kind of like maybe go on a retreat that addresses inner issues, maybe get into meditation more, just get to know herself on the inside a bit more. And this will lead her onto a road to increase her sense of happiness for sure. Next, we're getting it's okay to change your mind. When you get new information, reassess your decisions, be open and flexible. Wow. So we were talking about that Anui, her feeling like she just kind of tosses the dice when she's faced with decisions, right? Says you reassess your decisions. So I think it's Spirit is giving her a comforting word here. So yeah, I think Spirit is actually trying to be the wind under uh, Anna, Jennifer Aniston's win wings right now and saying, hey, what you're going through is normal, okay? She's going through normal things, which is where you get to a certain point where sometimes when there's so many decisions coming at you you're like eh, just roll the dice whatever just that one's good that one's fine i'll go with that decision and spirit is saying hey you know what don't ever allow yourself to be locked into these decisions it's okay don't just you know i feel like jennifer is trying to hurry up and make decisions to get them off her plate and that's the thing but spirit is encouraging her to take her time take your time and you know hey go ahead and make that decision if you want hey that's great 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 idea but it's okay to change your mind Okay, after you've made the decision, go on about your business, get more, gather more information I'm seeing here, study, learn. She needs to consume more factual information that supports her wealth, supports her acting roles, supports her business decisions, okay? I feel like she's being called, the spirit is calling her to this. This is her, the next thing for her. And just, you know, to be open and flexible rather than quick to make a decision and set it aside, you know? This is, this is an advice that's very particular to her, okay? I, I don't know what specifically what this is referring to, but it could be her career or her um, business details, okay? Next we're getting, family life can be cool one minute, then crazy the next. People are flawed. They love you the best way they know how. So I think that Jennifer wanted a family. Mm -hmm. She wanted husband, kids, and this, it says your family life was a letdown for her. It was a disappointment. 
And as a result, she's had to maybe focus on her work, but her work leaves her feeling depressed because then it reminds her that that's what she has. What she has is the mastery she's attained, the her achievements, her work. That that's what she has. And when she's reminded that that's what she has, she feels sad because she wants that family life. But Spirit is trying to remind Jennifer that family life is, is not all it's cracked up to be. It can be very stressful. And so because, you know, it's not, you know, to maybe basically Spirit is trying to tell her, hey, don't set up this idyllic image of what family is where it's all perfect and roses and how you don't have that family life is messy family life is stressful it's beautiful it's amazing full of love and contact and people but it's crazy at the same time it's ups and downs you know and i think spirit is also trying to let her know hey the meaning of family is people you don't throw away even after they they've done something you don't like okay Family is kind of about that, right? We, we accept each other as flawed. We accept the flaws in each other. And I feel like this is a message that's special for Jennifer. Hey, allow people who maybe have not treated you in the best way, you know, be more tolerant of them, okay? Because, you know, say we were given 100 people in your lifetime to be your friend. To, that that's your allotment some people have more some people have less but say you have 100 people but with each person that comes along the moment they mess up they're done by per, per, this person comes you and they mess up they're done by the person that comes by ne and next person comes into your life messes up and you're like all right cutting that bridge uh, burning that bridge by you know sooner or later you're gonna run out of people so it's very important to understand that if you want family okay a sense of that man if I had just married and had kids and I could have stuck with my family right well, family are no different from other people. They are just as flawed. And a way to for Jennifer to create a sense of family in her heart and her life is to hold on to people who messed up. Yes. Is to hold on to those people and treat them like family. That's what family does. I'm not talking about abuse. I'm not talking about flat out like abuse or anything like I'm talking about people who did you wrong or upset you. They're not throwaways. Family, when family upsets you, they're not a throwaway. You still keep them around. You work through your issues with them. You keep them around. So maybe this is something Jennifer needs to work on as well. To turn this fly, smile um, upside down. Okay. Um, so let me see. Sacred Spirit, if uh, Jennifer Anderson follows this advice, what will be the outcome for her? I have two here. What I'm seeing here is the Six of Wands, a victory. She will store, score a victory. She will be vic victorious over this sense of, like, all I have is work and, you know, I want family life. And some of these issues she's been having with, like, money blocks, even though she's been making money. I'm not saying she's not making money. She's been making money, but it's been stagnant. It's been, it's been in fact, it's been kind of flatlining, maybe going a little dipping a little. And what I feel is that... If she falls this advice, she will be victorious with those issues. And if she falls this advice, she will be victorious in, look, it says, I see here, sage cleansing. Yeah, here's a sage. So a detox, clearing out of negative energies. Yeah. If she shows up for the people in her life, people that she said, no, nah, you're rubbish, you're done, I'm, I'm kicking you out. If she shows up for them and reconnect with them, this will blow away, this will get rid of negative energies that are clinging to her in her life. I'm also getting that she needs to burn sage. Yeah, she needs to sanctify her space more. She needs to deepen her world. I would say maybe even get into studying more, meditating more, like a genuine and deep spirituality. She needs to get into that. And this will bring a certain victory into her life. She will come out of her life feeling like a winner, okay? She's already a winner, but there's some issues she's having. There's an issue here, especially with the sadness. So I'm seeing that um, she she will overcome this if she follows this advice okay and that's all i'm seeing in the cards for her today if you've enjoyed this reading please hit like share uh, if you have any requests or comments for me then leave them in the in the comment section below and uh, if you enjoyed this could you please tell me where you're watching from what your state what your what country are you in what state are you in uh, i would love to know take very good care of yourselves okay bye